by leaves, reduced speed warnings hidden by vines. The danger has been fueled by record spring rains. But as Nine News anchor Brendan Keefe and the I-Team discovered, Mother Nature isn't the only one responsible for the Tri-State's vanishing road signs. Brendan? Carolyn Clyde, the I-Team doesn't usually investigate foliage, but clearly there's a lot more to this story. The city of Cincinnati has been trimming its budget instead of trimming trees. Those deep cuts have allowed brush to grow unimpeded, blocking many critical warning signs. You could call them signs of the times. It's a growing problem in the tri-state. Branches, leaves, and brush are swallowing street signs all over the area. A stop sign in Eden Park is completely hidden, even from the other side of the road. And Google Street View shows it's been like this since at least 2009. Across the river in Newport, leaves cover a reduced speed ahead sign on 471, right before an unfortunately placed mile marker covering the first five in 55 leading into Cincinnati. But we found the most explosive growth on Columbia Parkway within the city limits, where vines envelop entire streetlights. What is this sign supposed to tell drivers? That the speed limit drops to 30, a full 15 mile per hour reduction from the parkway's normal 45, right before a major intersection. Think we're shooting this from a special angle to make it look worse? Think again. Here's what it looks like from inside a car coming down the hill to Delta. Can you see the three or the zero through the vegetation? Neither could we. This has probably grown 20 feet this year. Arborist Tim Back says record-breaking spring rains caused vines to grow up to two feet per week, followed by roadside weeds and grasses. It's well over my head. The brush has really taken off in just a few months. And that's this year's growth. That's just this season, one season. But trees have seen a growth spurt too. This year, we began growing from here to here, just this spring. The vines and foliage are spilling onto Columbia Parkway like a waterfall. Only on foot did we discover this hidden exit sign for Beachmont Avenue. It felt like an archeological find with the sign engulfed by the forest. A 45 mile per hour sign becomes visible only in the final 12 feet. But at 45 feet, you can barely see there's a sign there at all. In 2007, Google Street View cameras captured that same 45 mile per hour sign clearly out in the open. And the Beachmont exit sign was completely visible. But that 30 mile per hour sign approaching Delta was already blocked when this shot was taken two years ago. Part of the problem is that Cincinnati took a machete to the city budget, slashing funding left and right. But there's something even this sharpened blade can't slice through, and that is government red tape. Several branches of government are responsible for US 50. It's a federal highway supervised by the state, but in Cincinnati, it's maintained by the city. And different city agencies are responsible for each side of Columbia Parkway. Urban forestry prunes trees on the north side, while the Parks Board is supposed to maintain the south side, where the forest has taken over. All this green is the result of a lot less green in city coffers. Parks lost a million dollars this year from its budget and was forced to hand over responsibility for Columbia Parkway's south side to the city's public services department. But public services was slashed by $2.7 million. We couldn't even get anyone to answer the phone at customer service. Along the highways and freeways, uh, a lot of the habits of pruning are just bush hogging, and because of that, you'll get an aggressive uh, sucker growth. Tree expert Tim Back calls it a perfect storm. Right here is bushwhacking. If the trees were pruned incorrectly last year during the drought, the record rains could have caused explosive growth. The bush hog will whack a tree and it sends out these fast growing water sprouts and these sprouts can grow uh, even five feet in one season. It's not clear if that's what caused Columbia Parkway to turn into an urban jungle. But every day the leaves chase the sun, swallowing more of the parkway and the signs drivers need to find their way or stop in time to avoid a crash. 
37 positions were eliminated from the city's public services department this year. When we couldn't get an answer at the customer service number, we used the city's website to file separate work orders reporting those covered signs. Even the director of the city's Department of Transportation filed a work order, and that was a full week ago. Yet tonight, the signs, including that 30 mile per hour warning near the Delta intersection, remain out of sight. Money does not grow on trees, but in this case, there isn't enough for even basic public safety maintenance. Guys? Interesting point there, Brendan. That was really interesting. When you drive up and down the road every day, you know those things, but if right. you're from out of town, right. you really don't. That's exactly right. State Representative Robert Mecklenburg will